Hello, I thought I would share with you something I've been doing uh, in the last few months. Uh, some time ago I bought uh, from Minex um, a robot called uh, Robo Pika and uh, I haven't had uh, too much time to play with it uh, in, the, in the past year really. But Christmas came and uh, I had all of a sudden some time uh, to start looking at the robot itself. So here I have uh, the manual uh, which is quite good I must say uh, it's uh, rather detailed you can um, you can go through various kind of exercises um, and uh, and discover the product um, a bit by bit. Now INEX um, is um, is a company um, in Thailand, which is based in Thailand, and has a website uh, for the international um, customers as well. And um, you can find all sorts of information there about their products. Uh, they have some some good things, uh, mostly uh, educational, really, at various level. And the the Robo Pika is uh, is one of them is is a pick based uh, pick microchip um, uh, robot and is based on the 16f887 uh, uh, microchip which is probably not the option uh, I would go for now uh, nowadays but um, it is still pretty good um, for what uh, these uh, robots um, has to do uh, it come comes with uh, various bits and pieces, which I'll show later on uh, on a different cam. Um, this is the this is the uh, pick kit programmer. Um, it isn't really the original pick kit, but since the uh, project uh, is an open source, um, these guys uh, made uh, their own. So really, with the with the robot itself, you get even this. Uh, programmer which you can reuse uh, for uh, other purposes of course um, together with the robot you get um, a little remote control which is also pick based um, and I'll show you this later on as well it doesn't do much it really allows with one of the programs to go uh, to go forward uh, left and right and then backward. Um, that's pretty much it really and it's infrared based of course. Um, let me get the robot and I'll show you some more of it. So this is um, the robot itself uh, already built. Um, it isn't quite the standard configuration this one I I was uh, messing about with it, uh, changing um, a few things. Uh, the first one being that I'm now driving it with Bluetooth, and the the distance sensor is now uh, installed on uh, two servo motors. But uh, let's focus on the uh, robot itself. It comes with um, two motors. Uh, which are normally, which are just not normal brushed motors, um, uh, and they are powered by. Um, let's see if I can show it. Yeah, four AA uh, one point uh, five or one point two if you use the rechargeable batteries, uh, which are sitting at the at the bottom. Of the PCB, of the main board. Uh, it has an ISP connector, which is this one, uh, which is obviously plugging into the programmer I showed you earlier on. This is a close up of the programmer itself. And then it has got um, 
connectors for the various ports uh, offered by the 16F887 uh, on both sides really as you can see RE and then RA and so on now there are two buttons just to you know start the program stop the program do some formal control and three ports for the server and then four ports for the motors for the DC motors themselves uh, one which will well um, to uh, the forward of the motor and the other if you if you plug it into the black connector I think it does the forward if you plug it into the white connector it does the, the backward or vice versa but they're just one one the opposite of the other and obviously the motors are one in the white and one in the black uh, it's got a little switch for the power which is generally when you have the when you have the uh, infrared sensor this one when you have the infrared sensor uh, into in place it makes it a bit difficult to use the power button it's a bit annoying that but thankfully I'm not using it now so that's out of the way it has a, it has an LCD um, which is quite useful sometimes to do a bit of debugging and um, well some exercises are just around um, showing some values of what the robot reads directly on the LCD as I said it has a sensor for distance it's a sharp uh, GP1220 uh, I think I can't remember the um, the pot number but yet yeah, that's what it is and then at the bottom it has two infrared sensors for um, tasks like following a uh, black line so it's got a, an emitter and a receiver and obviously it just read um, uh, whether you are over a white area or a dark area gives a different value of course it also has um, a speaker a little speaker here uh, which can be useful but is mostly just for fun I believe and um, that's pretty much it one of the one of the annoying things of this um, robot is the uh, this rubber thing here it um, it it doesn't it, it is it is too tight um, on uh, on either of the motors so you will have to have to make frequent con corrections uh, when you're driving it because you will tend to turn uh, one way or the other um, there, there is a, there, there are a couple of uh, gotchas in the manual to to try and adjust this tension, um, but uh, it doesn't quite work really. If I were to redesign um, the uh, the Robo Pika for our version three, I would probably choose a different uh, frame, a different base. Um, there are a few uh, uh, on the market now nowadays from uh, uh, Polulu uh, which are probably much better than uh, than this this is Tamiya uh, in fact the, the robot itself comes with a with a kit full of uh, Tamiya uh, Tamiya's parts uh, which you can use to install different sensors change the, the shape of the robot itself uh, mess up with it a bit and uh, and this is it. I'll uh, I'll show you a bit more of uh, the code that comes um, with it. And um, and I wanted to put on uh, the website uh, the 
the uh, recompile code for um, a more modern compiler. It is based on the micro C uh, from Microelectronica, micro C from Microelectronica, uh, but there are there is it's been now out there for a couple of years now. The micro C Pro and the examples you get from the website are simply for the old micro C uh, compiler, which you still can get from the Microsoft micro Microelectronica website, but you know it's uh, it's probably not worth using it any longer. So I'll I'll uh, post those ones on the side as well. One thing is uh, uh, worth pointing out is that the uh, in the manual comes uh, with um, with schematics uh, of uh, how the um, the various components on the robots on the PCB are connected, and uh, it is really really useful. Uh, I've seen similar thing to um, onto the Micro Electronica development board which I use the I have the easy pick and they have uh, quite detailed uh, schematics on on that as well um, but this is uh, really focused on the uh, PCB of the robot so here for example you can see that there is the um, L293D uh, probably can't see it because it doesn't focus properly yeah there it is 293D 93D and um, it is quite useful as you go by and uh, and try and uh, understand the code that they provide um, try to also look at the schematics and see what really happens and how the circuits are, um, are designed so it is um, as I said the manual is quite interesting uh, it explains for example uh, the PW PWM operation I mean, for for anybody who's uh, who's not uh, uh, um, a newbie uh, on uh, on on these things, it's probably it's probably not uh, going to be too interesting. But it was for me. Um, I, I I have to admit I have learned quite a lot from here. Um, and it, it, if anything, it's a good starting point to search further on the internet. As usual, um, as usual, things are much better when. Uh, when you spend time hands-on and then uh, in, you, you start uh, searching further for the things you don't know on the on the internet itself. It say, explains for example the way the um, uh, GPD um, 1220 uh, works so the insides of it. Um, it doesn't go too much in detail on uh, how magically the measurement gets taken it just gives you a formula formula on how to convert the values that the the sensors sensor which which I keep on getting wrong it is GP2D 120 so, so it, it gives you a formula on, on how to convert the uh, values you read into centimeters but it doesn't explain where the formula comes from and uh, and I must say I mean uh, a bit of a uh, critique to INX really uh, the as good as the manual is uh, regrettably the the website uh, isn't um, you go on their website on the international one which is where you land if you're not in Thailand or if you if you don't go specifically on the Thai website and there isn't really much there um, it, it is rather disappointing it's a bit um, it's a bit confusing there is a download section but then on the download section uh, you, you only find uh, um, code and manual from the old version of the RoboPika which was based on the 16877A uh, chip but it was pretty pretty much different uh, the Robo itself uh, and then when you get on the product um, on the on the uh, description page of the product then eventually at the end you get the right code and manual but that's about it. There is no further code, uh, no uh, further FAQ. Uh, there is a forum on the website, but uh, it's deserted. Nobody has gone there for a long while. Uh, questions are unanswered. Uh, it really is um, is a bit uh, disappointing. I hope uh, hope INX will will fix this, or will start to put some more energy into the international website to make their presence uh, a bit stronger and clearly to help the community uh, playing with this 
when I was uh, when I contacted uh, Onyx, they told me that um, generally the forums uh, are the ones from the vendors. Um, so people generally go on the vendor website where they buy the the robot and discuss their things there. Mm, I think it isn't really a justification. I believe the the Inex website should be the point of reference. It would be as much as uh, if I were to buy a microelectronica uh, development board from uh, uh, from a store, an online store. I would then go onto the online store forum to discuss my stuff. Whereas clearly, uh, the community just goes back to the microelectronica forum to discuss uh, all the problems and progresses. So I think that wasn't a point. I believe they have some problems there, and uh, hopefully they will fix it soon. Um, but as I said, well, what comes with the with the robot itself, not bad at all. So let's let's go back onto the code.